Each year, the legislature gives $1 for the arts program for each person in a parish. The Northeast Louisiana Arts Council receives a portion of that money to distribute in 11 parishes in its region. The Richland Parish Arts Council receives about $9,000 each year and through grants gives about half of that to the Richland Parish School System. One of those grants this year sponsored the appearance of world-renowned artist Frank Kelly Jr., who went into three schools and worked with students to develop their own works of art. I never had a chance to work with an abstract painting and I learned how to paint on it and experiment with different kinds of colors and things like that and it just it was just amazing. My first color I think was yellow and then I started like putting adding more warmer colors on there and then I started seeing these figures or shapes on there and like people were dancing so I had to highlight them to make people see them become more known. He basically explained to us the um, texture of art and um, showing us that we can make different colors and see the different things in the art piece to make us bring it out um, using different colors. I think that he's a very talented man and that he knows what he's, he knows what he's doing and I think that he is very helpful. I have the concerns that I know that they have some, um, some struggles in, the, in these small towns which I grew up in. I know that they don't have some of the facilities and, and some of the subjects that they're gonna need if they're gonna go further because this world is changing so drastically and so fast and it's hard to keep up. There were schools from Dell High, High School, the Charter School, and Ravel. And I wanted these children to be able to focus on what's going on in their lives today. It's not what the clothes you have on, it's not the car that people drive, it's not the home that they live in, it's not the environment that they may be in at home. But this is something now, if they start, they can do something about it. And the first thing that I will mention to the kids is that, look, we're here to have fun, enjoy this. We're here to learn, we're here to be exposed to something that you possibly have never have been exposed to, but we're here to experiment. And that's what art is, it's a form of experimentation. And basically what I wanted to do is go in these classrooms in the beginning, give them a complete introduction of who I am, to let them know that I, am, I was once the little boy, a little girl, uh, in your in a chair, just as you are in school, uh, I, and I, where I came from and what I'm about, and to give you an initiative to and motivate you at the at very same time that if I can do it, you can too. There are many research studies out there that have proven that if we incorporate arts into the curriculum the student's uh, achievement is enhanced and is much higher than what usually happens when you have budget cuts. The art's the first to go. And, and I don't know if that's because it starts with the letter A or what, but it's one of the first things that you cut out, which should be one of the last things. When people are uh, involved in the arts where it's visual, the drama or musical, um, I've never seen anyone be unhappy. They always have a smile on their face. And one of the things that we've seen in schools is that we have many students who are angry but if there, we had more art, maybe they had a way to express themselves, have enjoyment, and then maybe we would have less anger episodes in school. Frank tells them about his background, and he can show them that if they have the initiative, they too can be successful. Uh, and just um, because of his success, not only in this area, but across the nation, uh, just share with them experiences they wouldn't understand if they just had to read about it in a textbook. It just brings the community together. Art is for everybody and it's just, it just brings everybody together. The children can see through his work and through his success what they're able to achieve. Uh, they can identify with him. I um, started art because ever since I was little I was able to draw and it's been in our family for many years and so I took it upon myself to take 
art to another level and probably get a scholarship for art and maintain that in college. We have a lady in there, she's, she's dancing, she likes a gypsy, dancing around the fire. These kids didn't even have easels. So this is where we're coming from right here. We've got some talent. We've got a phenomenal art teacher over here. We've got an, a great superintendent of schools that wants to make this happen for the students. Then to lay on top of this a professional artist that can talk to the kids the way Frank can and uh, the way his work has grown over the years. Watching him work for 10 years, I've seen his work grow. And it's just so amazing. And so that's when I knew this is the artist that we want to work with for this project. And we completed 13 paintings within two days. And as you can see, the, the finished product is in, incredible. It's incredible to see that my, those kids are now my kids that were in that room that day, or those two days, to see them paint and create something like that. You know, to, when you put your hands in something, and when you use your mind and your, your, your eyes and you, uh, you try to, you come up with a, uh, an idea and it's successful, my God, that is, that's incredible. I know I can't change every child, or, but I can touch one or two. One of the keys to a successful grant is follow-up. Beyond the students exhibiting their works, art teachers continue, to with, uh, continue with the program to follow up art projects in the classroom. Thanks to this program, the Northeast Louisiana Arts Council has been able to bring artists like Frank Kelly Jr., plus performing artists such as the Shreveport Opera Express and the Platters to Richland Parish.